In this lesson, you will learn how to solve two-step addition and subtraction problems. Below, I've written in a two-step problem. You have 18 minus 4 plus 6. So how do we solve this? Well, this is a two-step problem because you have to break the problem apart and solve it in two different steps. So let's take a look at the first part. The first part is 18 minus 4. So to solve that, what you do is use the number line below. Start at the number 18. And to subtract 4, you're going to take 4 hops of 1 backwards. So you're going to go 18, and that's minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and finally minus 4. Now the number you land on is the answer to the first part. So we land on the number 14. That means that 18 minus 4 equals 14. So let's keep that number down below. Now here's the second part of the problem. We have to add 6 to whatever you got for the first part. So that means it's 14 plus 6 that we need to solve now. Now to do this, start at the number 14 and count up by 1's 6 times. The number you land on is the answer to the entire problem. So let's start at 14, and I'm going to make these 6 hops forward in red. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the number we land on here is 20. That means 14 plus 6 equals 20 and the entire problem equals 20. Let's try doing this with a word problem now. Miss Sanchez gave stickers to her students as a reward. Austin earned 16 stickers, but he lost five of them on the playground. Miss Sanchez gave him eight more stickers because Austin helped clean the classroom after school. How many stickers does Austin have in all? Now we're going to break this problem down into two parts. The first part I'm going to highlight from the word problem. It says Austin earned 16 stickers, but he lost five of them on the playground. So we can write that as a number sentence where Austin has 16 to begin with, right? And then he lost five. And losing five means you would subtract five. So he loses five on the playground. Now this is the first part of the problem. So let's find the difference of 16 and five using the number line. Start with 16 and take 5 hops of 1 backwards to subtract 5. So that's the third hop, fourth, and the fifth. And we land on the number 11. So that means 16 minus 5 equals 11. After he lost the 5 stickers, Austin now has 11 left. Now what happens? Well, after that, he gets 8 more stickers because he helped clean the classroom. So what we're going to do is write a second part of this problem, right? Which is now he has 11 after he lost 5. He earns 8 more, and that means we have to add 8. So he earns 8 more, and this is going to tell us the total number that he's left with. So now start with the uh, number you landed on after the first part of the problem, and that's 11. And you're going to count up 8 times now to add 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. And the number we land on now is 19, which means he ends the day with 19 stickers, and that's how many he has in all. Let's try another word problem together. Tina and Jack are getting balloons for a party. Tina blew up 14 balloons. Jack blew up 5 less balloons than Tina. How many balloons do they have all together? So before we find out how many balloons they have all together, we need to know how many Jack blew up, because we already know that Tina blew 14 balloons up, so she has 14 balloons. Now we know that Jack has some amount, and he has 5 less than Tina. So we need to find out how many he has, and then we can think about the total number of balloons. So if Tina has 14 balloons, right, so that would be 14, and Jack has 5 less, that means that the number that Jack has is 14 minus 5, and we can do this on the number line. So go to the number 14, and since we're going to subtract 5, you hop backwards by 1's 5 times. 3, 4, 5. And so we land on the number 9. This means that Jack has 9 balloons, while Tina has 14. So if we want to know how many they have in all, right, so this is the number that Tina has, and I'm highlighting that in blue. Here's the number that Jack has, and we just solved that, and I'm going to highlight that in green. So if we want to know how many balloons they have all together, we're going to add. 
Tina has 14, and Jack has 9. So from the number 9 on the number line here, what you can do is count up 14 times. When you count up 14 times from the number 9, and you land on 23. And that means that Tina and Jack have 23 balloons for the party in all. In this lesson, you've learned how to solve two-step problems. Thanks for watching.